Just when you thought you were getting used to 4K, Apple comes along with, you guessed it, 5K. I'm Dan Ackerman, and this is a first look at Apple's new 27-inch iMac with Retina 5K display. Now, this huge display, native resolution 5120 by 2880, that of course is more than a typical 4K display, which is still pretty rare and is certainly a lot more than you saw on, on iMacs previously, even the super high-end ones. Uh, the model we saw last year uh, had a basic 2560 by 1440, and this is a really big trade up from that. It's something like 14.7 million pixels on this one screen right here. Now, why are you going to need a 5K display? You know, you could argue that you need it for very high end photo and video editing. Uh, it's certainly great for bragging rights if you're the first person on the block with one of these. Other than the display, it's actually very similar to the uh, previous version of 27 inch IMAX. Uh, same Intel Core i5 and Core i7 processors. Uh, the graphics have actually been changed. Instead of Nvidia, they switched over to AMD uh, R9 graphics. Uh, maybe they needed something more powerful to drive this 5K display. Maybe it works particularly well with AMD graphics. Uh, Apple's a little cagey on why they made that switch, uh, but you certainly need a lot of power to push uh, this 5K display here, which is a real standout feature. And what is otherwise uh, pretty much the same 27-inch iMac you've been able to buy for the last year or two. Now, of course, all this does not come cheap. This guy starts at $24.99, and that includes just a basic Intel Core i5 CPU. If you want to trade up to an i7, that's another $200. $150 on top of that. As we continue to play around with this new uh, system, we're going to try out all kinds of 4K and super high res videos uh, and see how the display performs. Uh, so we can't wait to get in front of all our display testing equipment. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is Apple's new 27 inch iMac with 5K Retina display.